Hello friends, my name is Sumit and you are watching CTX Cloud Tech video. So this is the video number 15 in our NetScaler training series. So if you guys will see my last video, in my last video I have shown you how you guys can load balance your storefront server with the NetScaler. But now today we are going to configure our Citrix gateway to access our internal storefront servers uh, whenever you are working from home or you can say that externally. So in my pre previous video, I have shown you say, that we have two storefront servers and we have load balance these two servers on the net scaler and with the help of SNP, we have created a SNP and after that we have load balance these two storefront servers and the website we have created is internal apps.ctxcloud.in. So this is work we have done for the on-premises users. But let's say you have external users who are working from home and they want to access your on-prem in uh, VDAs. So what you can do that you can do configure the Citrix um, gateway. Okay. So to configure the Citrix gateway and I am going to configure this into the two R mode. So this is like in the to our mode okay so to configure it uh, first I need uh, let's say that in my lab we have two different subnet one subnet is for the external which is 192.168.31.1 and slash 24 this is the external subnet subnet and this is my internal subnet which is 192.168.1.1 so to communicate these two subnets we need SNPs in the net scaler so for the internal i have created a one snip which is 192.168.1.99 which helps to me to communicate my internal servers but whenever we have a external users who want to connect our netscaler citrix gateway so we need another snip which will help you to communicate with the external facing fire firewall in the production environment and in my lab i need a snip which can connect over with my external pc and they should be on the same sub subnet so how to configure and obviously we need two different interfaces on the net scaler so one interface will connect my internal resources and one interface will connect my external resources okay so how to do that so first of all you guys need to log in into your uh, obviously the net scaler so this is my net scaler so first of all let me show you the network here so in the network you guys can see that 1 slash 1 is the first interface, 1 slash 2 is the second, uh, uh, you can say that interface and L01 slash 1 is the default, you can say that default interface. So if you guys will show that all the IPs are now bounded with this 1 slash 1 and if I will click on 1 slash 2, it is not highlighting because there is nothing bounded with the, my second interface. So all by default are grouped into a 1 interface and uh, every IP is connected with this VLAN 1. So first of all, you guys have to go on the system and in the system, you guys need to go on the network and net in the network, you guys need to click on IP. So if you guys will check here, uh, uh, I have a Netscaler IP, which is Netscaler management IP and you guys can say that it's, it is NSIP. So which is 192.168.1.100 by which I am accessing this ns1.ctxcloud.in. We have another SNP which is 192.168.1.99 as I say that this SNP is helping me to connect my internal storefront servers, correct? And we have a, another VIP here, VIP is like virtual IP and if you guys will see my previous video, I have shown that how to configure a VIP and VIP is basically a auxiliary IP and the, uh, with the help of this VIP, we have configured the storefront load balancing. So as of now, now, right now, I need a, another SNP which will help me to communicate my external facing users and this in the production environment, we will net with the firewall to the this SNP and right now I do not have the firewall so I can configure and directly give the this SNP to the external PC for the demonstration purpose. Okay, so click on add and I am giving an IP here is 192.168 and this is 31. Uh, 61.31.149 and this is the subnet is 255.255.255.0 and this is ob obviously this is a SNP and you can say that subnet IP and click on create and click on save so now again go to the configuration 
go to the system network and here you guys can see that i have one extra ip here is uh, where is the ip is 192 32 yeah, this is 192.168.31.149 but still you guys can that, see that it is not connected with my second interface if i click here nothing is bounded here so again i have to go on the system then the network and i have to create a vlan for it so click on vlan and in the vlan i am going to create a vlan which is vlan id i am giving is 31 because 31 is my subnet ip so based on that i am giving the 13 31 vlan you can give the vlan too so based on the subnet generally we will give it so alias name i am giving it external and i am going to bind interface so right earlier it was not bounded any interface so i am going to bound with this interface and here i have to click on ip bindings and i am going to bind the external snip for it which is my 192.168.31.149 click on create and just refresh it and you guys can say that we have another vlan which is bounded with my interface one slash two and this is external and again if you guys will go here uh, just the configuration and if you guys will go on the system network and you guys can say that one slash two is connected with the vlan 31 and if i click here you guys can see that one nine one slash two interface is connected with the vlan and the ip highlighted is 192.168 uh, 31.141.49 so in this way you can guys can configure it to our mode of the net scaler so i have covered two topics here now it's time to configure our citrix gateway so first of all you guys have to click on zenf and zen desktop so right now it is the easiest way to configure the citrix gateway so most of the settings it will do automatically so click on get started and in the diagram i am going to create a website which by which users can easily identify from where they are going to log in so here i am going to create a website external apps.ctxcloud.in okay so if my users will log in into the citrix environment from the externally they will use this website external apps.ctxcloud.in and if will they will log in into the citrix from the office you, they will use the internal apps.ctxcloud.in so you guys can say that if you, they will use the intranet they will use internal apps.ctxcloud.in or if they will use internet they will use external apps.ctxcloud.in so working from home okay now i'm going to create a i'm using the storefront because after 7 x generally we will use the storefront and whenever we have a previous and uh, like 6.5 we will use the web interface so right now i'm going with the storefront click on continue and here you have to define your external website or you guys can say the external gateway website which is external apps.ctxcloud.in now i'm giving the ip address 192.168.31.49 so this is the ip i'm giving the same subnet ip here so click on continue i have to bind a certificate so i have a wildcard certificate which i have shown in my previous video i'm going to bind the same certificate here with this website also click on continue here you guys need to mention your storefront server so what is my storefront website is internal apps.ctxcloud.in so i'm giving the same website here click on retrieve store so after that just one second so after that i am giving my default uh, active directory name which is ctxcloud.in what is my sta so sta generally is citrix delivery controller you can give that and i am giving the ip address here you guys can give the fully qualified domain name also we have a separate topic on sta so we will cover it later so right now we are giving 192.168.1.10 which is my uh, you can you guys can just say that delivery controller ip address so if i'll show you here so where is my delivery controller just give me a second uh xtc1 let me connect it and if i'll go you here click on cmd and type ip config so you guys can see that uh okay 192 xtc is 192.168.1.16 so that's my ip i'm giving the same ip address here is 192.1.16 that's fine click on continue here you guys need to mention the authentication type so 
first of all we are going to configure with the domain and after that you have the different authentication like uh, rsa you have the okta right now so you guys can use the okta as also so as of now we are going to configure with the default domain policy so what is my ip address of my domain is 192.168.1.10 and this is going to communicate on the port number 389 so this is plain text i am going to use and here you guys need to mention where is your users exist so i am giving the complete users whoever in the uh, active directory which is cn equal to uh, just one second cn equal to users comma miss cn equal to ctx cloud dot in and what is my administrator account here slash administrator just give me a second ctx cloud slash administrator and what is my password here so this is my password 192168 uh, sorry uh, <laughs> let me enter the password here again so i'm giving a test connection here so it is showing server is reachable valid port valid credentials are provided so that's fine so let me connect sc okay sc sorry i have to give you here cn it's given an error so i have corrected it cn equal to user cn it is ctx cloud cn equal to in so let me test it again okay it is giving the server is fine valid credentials is provided ldap cn equal to user cn equal to dot in is n valid baseline what is okay again let me tell you cn equal to users dc domain controller is ctx cloud tc equal to in let me test it again so now you guys can see that it is valid and everything is green so you guys have seen that how live i have troubleshooted it so i have to select the same name click on continue and click on done so now you guys can see that my sta showing is up storefront is up so everything is up and right now so i have to go on my storefront server now so there are some configuration which needs to be done on the storefront level as well so i am going to here storefront click on manage citrix gateway click on add here i am giving the name is external give the fully qualified name of your citrix gateway is https uh yeah https external apps dot ct ctx cloud dot in let me verify it https external apps dot ctx uh, dot ct cloud cloud dot in okay that's fine i have to add st here so which is my http slash slash 192.168.1.16 click on ok click on next here that's fine click on create click on finish click on close and after that i have refresh it click on configure remote access so i have to enable this enable remote access and external gateway ok click on ok just wait it is going to configure it okay now it's done so once you have done on your first storefront server make sure propagate the changes on your second storefront server as well so i am going to propagate the changes so here is the url propagate changes so that all the configuration what you have done on your storefront server one get replicated on your storefront server two as well so it is going to take some time so meanwhile i am going in my zen server just wait okay let me scroll here so this is my gen server so i have external pc here and if you guys will show in the networking it is connected with the ban 
so and other servers are connected with my LAN network so here I am going to keep the console of my Netscape uh, I mean Windows system so I am going to enter here with the credentials click on enter so just give me a second now external gateway is fine I have done the propagate changes it is still happening so you have to wait let me try to access my internal website also in the meantime so https internal apps.ctxcloud.in so let me try to log in here okay this is working perfectly fine so you guys can see that i have one desktop here now i am going in my external pc i am going to access the website so let me open it <clears throat> so i am going to close it and try to access https external app store ctx cloud in it's given an error with the certificate let me try to continue it okay it is accessing my external net scalar gateway website is accessing so let me try to enter here uh, first let me change the look of this uh, i mean default citrix gateway so i am going to change the, this uh, interface of us so i am going here inside the citrix vpx <clears throat> going to click on citrix gateway then virtual server select here click on edit and here i am going to bind a portal themes and in the portal theme i am going to select a green bubble here click on ok ok done save the changes and again i am going to refresh the website which is external app store cdx cloud dot in it is taking time just wait might be it is loading so we have to give some time uh, meanwhile the changes get replicated here so sometime it is will take some time click on advanced click on continue okay <laughs> actually it says it's not showing green it's showing black <clears throat> but we have applied the you, you guys can say that green so after some time it will show up with the green one because it is taking time to load so let me try to access in the meantime is srn add my password so click on ok uh, might be i have to increase the ram on my next killer something is utilizing very high so no problem just go on the external it is still taking time to load the website okay it is giving an error so no worries we will fix it oh it will come back finally so now you guys can see that i can see the same desktop from my external website as well let me log off it again uh, now you guys can see that it is showing the green bubble so it is like a glitch uh, in the production environment it doesn't happen but in lab environment generally because of due to some caches it will show like that let me a private window let me open this let me open this let me go to the continue and now you guys can see that it's a green bubble uh, theme here and i'm going to enter the password and just wait click on detect workspace click on already installed and now you guys can see that my windows 10 desktop is visible here from the external website also so this is the way how to configure uh, your you guys can say that netscaler uh, citrix gateway so again we are going to configure more settings here on the netscaler gateway even it right now it is showing some certificate error so we are going to fix this certificate error, error also so just stay connected with the ctx cloud support me and subscribe my channel thank you so much guys and we will continue our training and this is completely free no need to pay anything so thank you thank you guys and stay connected with the ctx cloud